via the rear speakers or headphones plugged into the rear seat entertainment system. That system, with a 10.2 inch screen, now can stream PBS Kids, iHeartRadio and Spotify apps via a new 4G LTE Wi-Fi connection. A feature dubbed Social Playlist enables up to 8 passengers to upload their music from their smartphones to the audio system although, in some families, being forced to listen to someone else's music would be tantamount to child abuse. An app called How Much Farther? Allows passengers to see the time until a destination is reached, but it probably won't completely eliminate that annoying question. Another app, Cabin Control, lets users send a destination to the in-car navigation system as well as control the rear seat climate control and the rear entertainment system. Up front, the instrument cluster now houses a 7.0-inch color TFT screen, and an 8.0-inch touchscreen audio system, not available on the base LX, sees the very welcome return of a volume knob, as on the latest CRV. The Odyssey also is the first recipient of a significant upgrade to Honda's infotainment software, which is quicker to respond. We've found its current touchscreen system sluggish and has additional features such as allowing users to drag and drop to customize which apps populate the shortcuts menu. Heated rear seats a heated steering wheel, ventilated front seats, and wireless device charging are newly available. And of course the built-in Honda Vac once again is on hand to help clean up messes. Sweet life. The 2018 redesign also gives Honda a chance to catch the Odyssey up with the latest safety features, an area where the outgoing model had fallen behind. The Honda Sensing suite of active safety features is newly standard on all models except the base LX. Included are adaptive cruise control with automated emergency braking, lane keeping assist, and road departure mitigation. Rear cross traffic alert is another new addition. Forward collision warning, lane departure warning, and blind spot monitoring were featured.